Now I only rolled a 1 on my cursed die today, so you'd be forgiven for thinking that it won't be my lucky day, but I did find a hundred crowns whilst walking home today. So I think I've got all the luck I need to be bringing it home with Ardalan in this brand new campaign, Very Ardalan, where, well, Very Hard is new for 1.17, and I want to give it a go with this beautiful little OPM. Such a wonderful shade of purple, although we are subject to the Timurids, let's just jump right in. So many of you won't be familiar with Ardalan's perilous start. As I said, we are subject to the Timurids, and since we're playing on very hard mode, Timurids get a whole host of bonuses, much like all the other AIs, not least of all 50% manpower and manpower recovery, but an enormous force limit that complements their horde ways quite well. So I think from the start, we're going to be in trouble under them. Quite a bit of trouble. Now the question of Ardalan's ideas are always going to come up, since I don't think many people have tried them before. Ardalan's ideas are pretty garbage. We get a Diplomat, that's pretty good. We get a Diplo Relation, that's usually good for me. And we get a little bit more manpower. Fine. But nothing military. Except I guess leaders out without upkeep, I don't really count that. Prestige Decay, Legitimacy, Merc Maintenance, Tolerance of Heretics, and the way I want to go, we won't be having any of those. And Attrition for Enemies, well, whoopty bloody do. To make things quite a bit worse, we start with a 66-year-old ruler and no heir. Best case scenario is either they live for long enough to get an heir who becomes legal age, or they die straight away. And we get a half decent ruler. I'm going to be going on the die very quickly route and just throw them in as a monarch general. Might as well have them lead our staggering two units whilst we're going. <laughs> diplomat for Jake. Yeah, very useful, says Kevdev. Hey, I'm pretty good at having French diplomats here. So, straight off the bat, I think we're going to want some improved relations with Ottomans since. Timurids are sworn enemies of the Ottomans, and the Mamluks, and Karakyunlu. Now, Karakyunlu is looking at me with uh, hungry eyes, which makes me want to improve relations with them. If only so they don't decide that I deserve to die. So let's get those relations all on the go. It's, in a sense, very useful for me that I start off with two, uh, or rather, plus one diplomat. Better denounce those sect practices right from the start. And now we hope and pray. As I used to say, to defeat the Timurid Empire you must sit back and watch, but I'm not convinced that's the way on very hard mode. No, you need to poke them pretty hard for them to fall apart. Speaking of falling apart, Delhi always falls to their uh, Pretenders. Makes me wonder why they're there to begin with. Unless there is another nation who instantly gets military access and goes to fight them, then the Pretenders will always take over in Delhi. And you always kind of want them to, because Delhi's start, Delhi starting ruler is terrible, but yikes, they got a 0-0, zero, zero, uh, a zero, one, one, and that is no good for them. Jake, are you going to form anything? Now, I was thinking about goals for this achievement because, well, goals for this run, rather, because there isn't really an achievement that jumps out as being ideal for this. wouldn't mind rekindling the flames, but I think that's a custom nation one, so I will probably go for this is Persia. Why am I at war with Muscovy? I'll probably go for this is Persia. I don't really want to form Persia, but as ever, we have our way out of that. So, this is probably Kazan's doing. When is it not Kazan's doing? Well, I'm going to tank my own maintenance, ensure that it does not get automatically erased, and, well, note that we are playing on very hard mode, so the AI is, one, they have enormous armies, two, they uh, are pretty generous giving out condottieri. So, who knows, Muscovy might well get trashed here. 
the numbers are overwhelmingly in our favor, but that's assuming that Timurids actually go and get involved. I could actually make them go and get involved if I soak military access from the guy, and whilst it's in my... Uh, whilst it's in my interest that Timmy take a few to the face, maybe wait until Muscovy have actually eradicated the Kazanis and those Litauen condottieri before I encourage the Timurids to march up there and get themselves slaughtered. Hmm. I think I will do this. So there we go, now everyone's got access, so I'm going to send the Timurids up there. Hopefully, Muscovy will be able to take them on. Let's get back to improving those relations. Karakunlu gunning down Georgia, nothing terribly new there. So yes, objective of this run is I want Zoroastrianism. I have never played as a Zoroastrian. Some might say I've come tantalizingly close, but I have never done it. Um, and it's something that I've been asked to do a lot of times. I've been asked to do a Zoroastrian Persia or a Zoroastrian Tabaristan, just Zoroastrian something. Heavens knows why, it's not like they get anything particularly special. But I'll go with the flow on that one. Now, lucky for me, Ottomans are demolishing Byzantium, which is going to give them a nice big bit of extra power. Unluckily for me, we're getting some corruption. Let's just root that out straight away whilst the going is good. Now, I want to get my independence supported by both the Mamluks and the Ottomans. That would be ideal. I'm going to build up to force limit with that in mind. And I'm going to enjoy getting some prestige here. And well, I'll be damned. Castile got all of this. Why did Austria not get it? Guess they just got punked out by the Castilians. Enormous autonomy across the board, but still you get all that land for free. Who's going to complain about that? Not Castile. With Castile not immediately hostile towards France? Okay, France is certainly hostile to them, but we'll see. This could be the growth of a superpower in Europe right from the start. Just two years in and already stuff's going off. So, how is this going to go? I may have let the Timurids in a little too early there. But Muscovy do start with that astonishingly good general. But with the Horde changes, all battles in uh, steps are good for uh, Hordes. So, well. No matter who succeeds here, it certainly burns out the Timmies a little bit. Now, I want the Timmies to make their way out of Nagai, and they're about to, as long as you don't enter Buzluk before these guys leave, and I will have a moment to do that, which is excellent news for me. I also need to weigh up whether I want to be pious or impious, and at this point, I could not care less, so let's just lose the Diplo power, because I quite like having a touch of prestige here. You will shimmy your way over there, and I'll go... I'll go, damn, I don't have a diplomat. It'll arrive in two days' time, and then I will cancel it military access. Now they don't give it to everyone, and the... Uh, the Timurids are now stuck there, so... Ha! That's all I can say to them. Of course, that only really matters to me if the Timurids... lose and don't have a way to run away. I'm being told to rename my capital. Indeed, our capital is called Ardalan. Whereas I think it should be called... Very... Ardalan. How about very... Very Ardalan. That's more fitting. I'm also noticing that I have a free... Merchant, and I can't think of anything better to do than just collect from our trade here. Gives us 10% more income, and a tiny sliver more power there. So Nagai are not about to give military access to Timmy, because they're... well, they should, actually. No reason why they wouldn't that I can see from the start here. And we should be alright getting some support. 
We just need to improve our relations a wee touch more, but thanks to being same religion, we get that 25%, or rather 25, increase to relations. Jake Al Diaran, please. I have no idea what you mean. Explain yourself. Or don't. I mean, what does it mean to me? I get the feeling admin power is going to be a huge necessity, so I'm tempted to focus on it for now and forever. But I want to see what my heir is going to be before I do that, because if I end up with a 600, I will very much regret making that choice. Speaking of regret. Mm, perhaps allowing Timmy over there so early is not such a good idea. Litauen no longer giving those uh, guys away. Mamluks now in a war that I really do not want them to be in. Because this is the kind of war that's going to keep them busy for a while. One does not defeat Karakayunlu quite so swiftly. I mean, more power to you, but... Well, we'll see how it goes down. Might as well speed for it for the time being. Ottomans are at peace now, and I would love to get their backing, but I will need just a wee touch more. Because having one diplomatic reputation gives me plus five reason, I would get another plus five from that. That's not quite enough. But it will be soon, hopefully, maybe. A pathetic ruler for England. Well, speaking of pathetic... Oh, that's pretty bad news. It's highly likely that my ruler is going to die. We'll get Vozorg over there. And if my ruler dies, I'm going to be unable to declare for independence. And that's bad news for me for a number of reasons. So what I need is for the Ottomans to wrap up their war, the Mamluks to wrap up their war, for me to seek independence and then declare before my extremely aged ruler dies and casts me into Regency Hell for 15 years. Oh, and that's right, we have a 253, so I'm happy going on that. All the more reason to not have you assigned as a general right now, and for me to cross my fingers and my toes. That's promising, though. That's the look of Timmy getting rummeled. To the point where I would accept just the Ottomans as long as Karakiyunlu would give access, just the Ottomans should suffice for destroying Timmy, since Timmy just uh, just lost big time. Sure, they're still fighting there and they're still winning there. And actually, there are a lot of uh, a lot of Timmies there. I should be I should worry just a little. Oh, that hurts a lot. Oh well. I guess we're speed fiving for a while. <sighs> Whilst we have Regency Council, we cannot start any wars, but at least we can't be integrated now that we have this. Okay, well, we can be integrated now that we have this. Most troublesome. Hey Jake, how's life in general going? Life in general is very busy and very enjoyable. I mean, busy is in lots to do, not Byzantine. Let's not get that confused. I got no problem tanking my uh, stability a wee touch, since uh, that's what going to war for independence does. So with a bit of luck, Mamluks will win this, and the Ottomans will just keep themselves busy. The more Western orientated they are, the better. But damn that! I got some nasty luck when it comes to long regencies, at least the air is above average. Jake, check Castile in the Netherlands. Castile got Burgundian inherited. Yes, I did see that. We'll be chewing on that uh, autonomy for a wee while, but still worth it for the free lands. But they are not rivaled with France, I wonder. I wonder if they'll... Uh, Oh, they are mutually friendly. That's scary. That's extremely scary. For other people, but not for me. And what did I say about piety? Yeah, I was saying... Who needs piety when you can have money? Yes, I did roll a one for today on my uh, cursed die, so... <laughs> Somebody's arrived in very hard land.
Well, hopefully Timmy does not convert Yazd. If he does, then I'm in for a bad time. I also hope the Mamluks do not get a border with me. It doesn't look like they would based on the land that they desire. It's painful because this is the right moment to be declaring war on the Timurids. They're collapsing to rebels, they're getting bogged down in Muscovy. And yeah, me giving military access just changed that war in a heartbeat. And oh, this I don't like. I'm getting called for peace. That is something I really want to kill. Subjects and non-war leaders when the AI is leading should not be getting called for peace. Something I'll have to see to. Now this I want. If I can just have that say minus four. I suppose I could give them a gift, but do I look that generous? So Muscovy had to cede one, two, three, four, five provinces to Kazan. Two provinces from Perm as well? Good lord, I don't think Muscovy is going to be coming out of this all that well. I just wish I could see the look on their face right now. Jake Piety will be very useful for converting the Shia in Persia. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but that's not exactly what we're looking for here. Now we're so close, we just need a little touch more. And I don't want to give them a gift. What an av yeeft. Oh man, Timurids is falling apart here. That's the ticket. Boom. Welcome to the world of supporting my independence. And I still think we should have some fairly good relations with our friends over in Karakayunlu. And I need to think about other people who I should make like me. Tabaristan are one such uh, people. And I don't have the money to be supporting you, so get out. With my support, I no longer have to pay my vassal fees, which is a relief. I'll get... Uh... Somebody told me I keep pronouncing Bolkistan wrong. I was told it's Baluchistan. I'll try and remember that, but... Well, who am I kidding? I'm not going to. Jinx didn't take long to get them on my good side. Yeah, not much for uh, peaceful Ardalan to be doing here, sadly. just yo-yo my uh, piety for a wee bit since the other bonuses outweigh that. Oh man, it's the moment to strike Timmy. I guess it'll be better because the Ottomans will hit tech 4, the Mamluks might well hit tech 4. Timmy with their 1-1-1 and their 1-1-1, they're not about to be hitting tech 4. Jake, remember to delete all your soldiers so you can save a fraction of a ducat. <laughs> Jake, do you plan to go east after eating the Timurids? See, I'm not sure. The world's getting exciting here. Since Muscovy could well completely fail as a great power here, uh, Poland, Lithuania is actually going to be demolishing, I feel. Yeah, so I do need some goals. Dismantling the Holy Roman Empire is always a laudable goal, but I'm not sure if it's the one we're going for. I do have a random new world out there, but I think everybody knows my feelings towards... Uh... Yeesh. Not sure I like either of these, but... Uh... When you hit the throne, you should... Uh... You should be topping up the legitimacy. So I don't mind losing a bit more. Mind you, I'm still going to lose another 20... 30... Make it like 40. 
Ech. Fitkinamin D, as we say. Jake form the Roman Empire. Mm, no, not available for Zoroastrians. And I'm very glad to see that he is not uh, doing Zoroast... Uh, not converting it, but he could. That's the horrific thing due to piety, apparently. Alright, what are our estates up to? I wonder if they could be giving us anything like a ducat or two. I don't think it's really worth four ducats just to uh, cheese them off for a little bit. I think it could well be worth... Ah, why don't we just sink a bit more of that... Uh, We'll give them some, uh, let's see, a theologian or an inquisitor. Well, it's going to go ugly however you cut it. I just want my admin power, really. Mm, ah, but they lose loyalty as well. Yeah, sure, we'll go for that. And I want my 100 admin. Cheers, big ears. It'll tick back up. Kurdish grey skin. No. Uh, now, I do love a little bit of mercantilism. Hell, I love a lot of mercantilism. But mercantilism is not going to be so strong for me here. Given the way the trade flows, I'll just be going for total domination anyway. So, uh, I'm actually going to take the military power, since I think that's going to be pretty handy here. Ah, that's, that's so hard for me to do, even though I say it. Mercantilism is already 11%, though. Hell, I don't need... I don't need mill. Let's grab the free money. Mill comes and goes, but mercantilism is forever. I've got to remember that when I turn Zoroastrianism, all the Sunnis are going to hate me for taking things away from other Sunnis. Such is the cycle of life. Uh, but I should keep these guys nice and sweetened. Lest they... Uh, oh, nice. Dulkadir formed a nice barrier between... Uh, Oh, that's even nicer. The Ottomans are in Regency, so they won't be on the rampant warpath. Sadly, their Regency ends before mine. Super sad that that guy, he starts 12 years old and he's dead already. He didn't have a good enough time. Alright, well, if all that's going on, I could, would, and should be getting some spy network on in the Timmy. Honest merchants. Why would we lie? Why would we ever lie? Hmm. Oh well, at least I'm more than halfway through that uh, whole Regency thing. Wouldn't be one of my campaigns that it'll will length the Regency. Can't remember. Can't forget Maria Theresa. Or was she Maria von uh, de Valois? In any case, Greater Denmark's starting heir, dying and casting me into lengthy Regencies. My favourite. If this came just a little bit later, this would be very ideal for me. But again, I can't be uh, going to war just yet. Now, Timurids have made quite a number of good friends, which is unfortunate for me. Chagatai start not too shabbily. The Golden Horde are... Well, they should melt in the face of uh, Ottomans. But actually, if the Ottomans don't carve up Kandar and Karaman anytime soon, then I'm in for a bad time. 
Especially Karaman with their alliance with Mamluks. I need to hope that the Ottomans gun down Kandar. And maybe uh, Dolkadir. Actually, Timmy is... Timmy's not guaranteed to get this. And if the Golden Horde is fighting Kazan, then that breaks up some of Timmy's alliances. That's lovely for me. Would be even lovelier if I could declare war. Four years to go. Oh... Hey. By okay, I mean not particularly okay. Current air will die. Our air was pretty good, but the new one has it where it... Actually, the new one's better, so lovely that. Losing piety is okay. Losing one stability and 25 legitimacy... <laughs> I mean, it's not all bad, is it? <sighs> Fitkinamendi. Okay, but my graceful allies, well, my soon-to-be allies, they're willing to back me. This is my independence. Yeah, I may have good relations in it. Wait, good relations? I could always smack down a quick uh, insult. And I should fabricate a claim since I want to be taking land here. Uh, but which province? That I'm not too sure about. Probably this one. Kazvin. Eh, uh, sure, why not? It's silk, and silk is wonderful. But I still hate them, so I will send them an insult and declare war the next possible moment that I can. What do we get here? Missionary strength, wonderful. Yearly prestige, wonderful. Jake, think about it like this. Now you have fewer stability to lose. This is true. Now you might have thought, why get rid of the minus one stability when you're already at minus two? It wouldn't make much of a difference. But it would give me an extra pip of war exhaustion. And you better believe I do not like that. So let's just go and do it. Mamluks, Ottomans, two arms. They are our liege, yes they are. And now I'm pretty good at having my uh, units die. I'm going to get military access through here just so my allies also get it. Wonderful, a touch of money from the Ottomans. And I don't like the fact that the sad music's currently playing. Let's kill that. Has a time and a place, but not now. Now is not sad times for our nation. Now is time for Ardalan to win, to be victorious. Victorious arms and all that. So Karakiunlu now guarantee us the Golden Horde hiring a load of units from Poland, which is concerning. We outnumber them, but hey, Tabaristan wish to help us out. They don't even want to pay, they do it for free. That's my kind of deal, my friend. We'll see how long these units I march in last. I guess I should pay them for the very least so they don't take attrition here. Hmm. So, poor little Timmy is only at tech 3, whilst, uh, oh man, Ottomans are at 5. It's looking good for us. It'll look even better once I get my own tech on the go. Timmy loves to buy his own mer uh, his own condottieri. But that is fine, that's just part of the reason why I play on very hard mode. What's the point in a game with no challenge? is your favorite price, right, Jake? Absolutely. Mm, probably not a good idea to be marching in with all these units. There is no win condition for me in doing that. Let's march back a bit and just observe for a wee touch. Well, I could do that, or I could loot this province, and I do love looting. Jake, promise... <laughs> Promise us you'll play the sad music if the time comes. Uh, okay, Karakayunlu also wished to see Timmy die. 
friends in high places. Mm, don't know why the Ottomans are keen to just hang out in Istanbul, though. Kinda need their chunky armies to save us. It's probably because they can't get military access. I can sort that out. And just like that, they're on their way. <laughs> I'm going to be taking a large chunk of everything out of this guy, so... Now that Kara are not angry with me, I should be improving relations, and because the Mamluks and the Ottomans are sworn enemies, I need to mediate between them, which means I need relations with both of them. There's a question about how useful it is having a uh, spy network in Timmy. I'm not convinced there's really any. At least there's no reason to have that over, say... Improving relations with the Ottomans, except perhaps having lower aggressive expansion with Timmy. Karak Yunli wish for military access through me. How could that possibly go wrong? Now, whilst we're in this situation, I should be getting a royal marriage with all these guys that uh, love me so much. Ardalan will fight, and Ardalan will win. Jake admin cap. No, we are like 200 points away from the admin cap because we're in the Muslim tech group. No, I never did focus on admin, did I? I did. Okay, because I saw that air I had and was like, oh, this is fine. Remember what I was talking about? It having uh, like a 600 admin air making me regret to do this. Uh, it's funny the way the world works sometimes. Yeah, this is all fun and games. I'm wondering where those uh, Golden Horde folks have gone to. Right, they seem to be having trouble there. Let me just move in. I think they're trying to attach to each other. What is Fazan doing here? Vassal of uh, Mamluks, there we go. It's fine, got your back. So we'll use our wild card to secure important royal marriages. It is kind of nice to not have terribly, terrible legitimacy, but I'm thinking I should probably pump this up. Is there a good reason not to have it positive? I am not seeing it. I guess I couldn't get more hurt with the negative stability, but nah, let's, let's have it reasonable. Let's also ditch that war exhaustion, because we're going to be in this for a wee while. I'm going to get revolts, no doubt, but no reason to uh, just encourage myself to die to them. That would be daft. Yeah, see, this would have cost me 100 admin. No, sir, you're going to die if you stay there. Please turn back. Do not have the power to take these guys on. Oh, well, thank you, my good friend, the Mamlukian. <laughs> now that's that looks good. I'm not gonna have anybody say that that doesn't look pretty awesome. I will suffer no infidels in this chat. fails, engage the one-shot. I almost forgot, but we have Chekatai and the Golden Horde involved here. Now I could get military access to Gizamuk, and that would... that would give a connection to the Golden Horde, who just chewed up Kazan, and if Kazan just got brutalized, then Muscovy could well make a comeback here. Yeah, it's a shame I can't see it all. Oh, nice going. We now got our core province there back. Shame about the tribes popping up as well, but I really think that we should just disappear back home. Well, maybe not even home, but over here to just milk those delicious uh, lootings. In pops the Golden Horde with a fairly decent general, but ours are superior. By ours, I mean not mine. Yeah! Don't want to be 
dealing with the Timmy tribes. So as I said before, every time I fight in this region, it just always goes badly for me. I like to think that I'm halfway decent at this game, but it's like a curse every time I fight around the Persian Afghani region. Well, maybe, just maybe. I'm not going to see the, uh, the curse unfold this time. I wonder if the Ottomans got slapped down, because they are... Uh, oh, I see. I see it now. The war is moving north. Hmm, okay, that's problematic. Well, I'm sure the Ottomans, who I currently see hightailing it back to their own country, have got this one in the bag. The thing is, there's going to be no shortage of uh, Ottoman enemies here, and since the Ottomans did not absorb all the Baliks around them, they are not at full strength. How are we on the piety route? Let's just drop that piety, get ourselves some cheaper tech. Whilst we assure ourselves that nothing could possibly go wrong in this war. Jake, does Zoroastrian still alive? Yes. Still alive in Yazd, and since Yazd will fall soon, all will be well. It's kind of nice having Delhi on my side, to a degree. Not so nice seeing my allies getting beaten back. But fortunately, the Ottomans are on the case over in uh, Golden Horde's territory. Well, until I see something like that, those uh, Polish cavalry coming along to knock some sense into us. It might take a wee bit to convince the Golden Horde that they don't deserve to be in this war, but once that province falls, good old Astrakhan, once it falls, he says, as he watches that extremely good general fighting with the advantage in Horde land, and mm, I got a hope here, and keep the hope alive, phew, if, Astr if Astrakhan falls we'll be able to kick out the uh, Golden Horde as well as their Condottieri, 28 is a good chance right? Of course it is. Golden Horde. I think you owe me some money. And by me, I think exactly me. I want those war reparations since I don't get... Uh... See, if I got straight money from them, I would get two ducats. I don't care that much. But your alliance with Timmy is another problem. But it's a problem that'll drag Timmy into more trouble than it will me. So I'm happy enough to take that. And I should take the money as well since it will help fund my allies. That's right, occasionally I think about my uh, my friends rather than just me. So there we go, that gets rid of you. Drives down our war score a little bit, but it gets out so many people. No more worrying about the Poles, that is now the Golden Horde's job. Now I can advance and keep on looting. Err... Well, the Ottomans no longer want to give us money, whether that's because they can't afford it or uh, don't like us so much. It's something we can actually investigate. If we look at the Ottomans, we see that they have one loan. That's probably enough to tell them that they shouldn't be uh, giving money away. Mamluks also in the debt sphere, but they've got four loans, and I don't like Persian separatists on my border. Nor do I like paying for forts that I can't really afford. Actually, there are rather a lot of separatists going on here. Fortunately, the Mamluks probably know what they're doing. Oh yeah, to a T. And with that, that'll give the recent uprising for 10 years, so we won't have to worry about these guys anymore. Check a tie still involved in all of this. I don't think we have to concern ourselves with that. Yeah, we're looking good. Just trying to think what I could be doing with my uh, Greek diplomats at this point in time. 
Always good to keep it topped up with the Ottomans, Karakiyunlu I already did top up with. I could marry them to ensure that they would not turn on me, but that's not a good idea. They are weak enough for me to see cleaving them in half as a good way to go down. But I definitely want good relations with people that are going to be not so happy with me tearing a new one from the Ottomans. And there we go, since the uh, Separatists are no longer going to be a concern about popping up, we're going to spread out a touch. Jake, Arcane is interested in doing a mod game. Tell me more. Jake, look how terrible the Ottoman ruler is. Aye, uh, he's not exactly what you want for an Ottoman. Let's have a look at that then. Can we schedule a mod game? Arcane, you tell me when is good for you. I mean, we could even do it tonight once I'm done streaming this, if you so desire. People that might not know what in the world I'm on about, if you want to become a mod in this channel, you just play a game. It's in. It's very simple. Dosh always gets Jake's attention. It's true. I mean, there's no sense denying it. I could not be more of a sellout at this point in time. The me from a while back is very disappointed in myself, but... Fit Kinnamundi. Oh, I'm sure you do want peace, but that's not how it goes down to me. What goes down is you. Delhi, I wanted to improve relations with them because I can see them getting somewhat cheesed off when I uh, smash. I'm gonna smash. I'm planning on beating Kaizo Mario. Wow, okay. Completely available Thursday. That makes two of us. Oh, that's exciting. Well, good luck. That'll do you no good since luck is not what pulls you through Kaizo Mario. An ample dosage of getting good pulls you through Kaizo Mario. So this is rather nice. I can tech up everywhere. And I'm tempted to do so, but I should... Well... Piety is nice and low, giving me a good tech reduction, and I get, uh... Nah, we... I can afford to wait for the next Piety event, I'm sure. Let's make it for the bust. Chagatai still sitting there, still not wanting to peace out, but their time will come. I'm gonna sit myself on that one fort, just so it can't reclaim provinces. So once I take the bust, I want it to remain mine. Not a fan of uh, yo-yoing these provinces about. Jake, do you have a plan how to handle Persian rebels after you annex the provinces? I have a few ideas. One I could start with now. I should be building up to force limit, even though it is a touch expensive. At least we have a good chunk of money in the bank for such an occasion. Mm, could really do with a piety event, because I want to tech up. I also would like to peace out so that people don't get ideas on fighting uh, my friend, the Ottoman. Stan must really hate Timmy. Ah, this war was decided long ago. Well, that's good news for me. Uh, Karakayunlu, though. 
Why did they cancel military access? That seems an odd thing for them to desire to do. They are guaranteeing our independence, so they can't declare war on us, so I'm not exactly scared of them. But they did ally to Baristan, who would make an ideal uh, target for my expansion once I'm done with Timmy. But by the same token, Karak Yunlu makes a good target for my expansion, since everybody bordering them hates their guts. This is the land of the hordes. Jake, are you planning on eating a really big chunk of the Timrids? Yes, I am quite hungry for land. But the most important thing is that I get that Yazd province. I want, or maybe I need, those Zarastrians. Since that is a whole part of this, there we go, Kurzani separatists getting beaten down. Just means they're going to be less of a hassle. Or so, uh, so the hope goes. Took a while, but Yazd is down. Our friends move on, and really I could probably make any peace I want with the man. So I should probably start putting my mind towards that. Now you need to get independence, or else you aren't able to demand land. And yeah, thumbs up, great. And what's quite nice is that my allies don't really care that I'm taking it for myself. So that seems alright-ish. Maybe take Ishvan instead. How does that look? If you think it looks hideous, then I pretty much agree. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way that is slightly less hideous that we could do this. Lovely and adjacent, but do I really need this? I could do that instead. Can you take Shiraz and an extra province, Jake? It's so ugly, it's so ugly it deserves a prize, this. Okay, that's a full 100, that is too perfect to not take. Hormoz and Shamar will actually hate me for this. I should be improving relations with the two of them ahead of time. And we're already working on Delhi, so this should be okay. I imagine we still have a while to go before Call for Pizza. And these places already have recent revolt malice. What's also quite nice is because I'm occupying all of this, I'm getting a lovely chunk of production. So production would normally only give me 0.5 from very hard land, but all the others are giving me an extra 5.9. If my mathematics are adding up. Not to mention those golden horde war reps helping out to touch. Ah, there's the call for pizza. Jinx, it's been going on that long already. I'm so glad that guy took over uh, control of my nation. Still, it is worth investing a wee touch more time just to get some better relations with these people that would want to join a coalition with me. Because looking at it, they would get about... Ah, not this again. Take my money. Get out of my face. Looking at it, they would get about 70 or so um, aggressive expansion. So if I have their relations at above 70, that should be enough to get rid of that. Karak Yunlu I don't care about, because if they hate me that much, they'll drop the guarantee and we'll have a truce with me. And Timmy, well, pshaw, is all I can say to that. What I don't really want are Timmy retaking provinces that, uh... I better get those forts up just in case. That's interesting, the fort costs money if it's on my core. Let's get you home then. Wasn't I saying something about don't want this war going on for too long? Maybe I was. Jake, can you take war reps instead of one province? I probably could. 
certainly keep them weaker and give me a nice chunk of money, but I do want a lot of provinces here. I mean, is there a province that I could not take? I could ditch this. Mm, nah, that wouldn't give me enough score for uh, war reps, sadly. But okay, nobody would join a coalition if I did this. It would only cost me 3, 4, 8 to core the whole lot. Ah, I think this incredibly ugly donut could well be my new home. I think I'll just take it. We can worry about the rest later. You could, Jake, take a coastal province which allows you to expand into Arabia. Now you're thinking of portals here. It's a little dangerous. Hmm. Unaided during blockade. Well, that really sucks for them. This would be the more ideal one since it would allow me to directly expand here. Starting with Hormoz, but these accursed Arabians seem extremely tight. Perhaps not ones that I want to go picking too many fights with. But whenever opportunity knocks, I should be there to answer the door. So you might be onto something. If I leave Zanjan, this also helps cut off Karakiyunlu from entering all of this. Alright, well, you've got me convinced. I could take six ducats. I might even get one of those. It's still very, very ugly, though. <laughs> I mean, it's absurdly ugly. Come on, Jake, you want it. Uh, but that definitely ticks off Shamar and Hormoz. So maybe we should uh, get another month or two so that their opinion uh, increases a touch. Oh, excellent. We lose that piety once again. So piety is at an all-time low. There is never been a better time to be teching, teching. And yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm focusing on admin and we don't have too shabby a ruler. We'll get it. Jake, sign peace on December 30th. You are quite right. That'll uh, get away some of that aggressive expansion straight away. And with all this money, why am I not having some people in charge here? Unrest minus two? I'm not sure if that's what I'm after, because I, uh, I want Zoroastrians to rise up. But then again, tax is going to do me absolutely diddly. Oh well, it's better than a kick in the face. Better relations over time is going to be a necessity at this point. Force limits would only work against me. Discipline would also work against me. Let's get cheaper land maintenance. Because that would only work for me. So, it's December 20, 29th is good enough. And that's not going to cheese off anyone too much. Welcome to some... It's an ugly, misshapen donut of a nation, but it's our ugly, misshapen donut. And one of these provinces is already our core, which is rather nice. Uh, I think I'll just dismantle this fort right away. This one, though, not so much, because it's uh, where we want Zoroastrianism to flourish. We're going to set our mission, uh, missionary there. We're certainly not going to pay them. And I'm going to be very grateful to my friends who helped me out through all this. And I'm going to wish that I had uh, gotten that alive, that uh, marriage with the Mamluks. Oh well. Something to consider. Jake, how does discipline work against you? Uh, rebels would get that discipline. Unless that's changed with me not keeping my finger on the pulse. Which is quite possible. So there we go, we get everyone back there. I want to build up to four summit, even though it's going to be expensive. But I don't want to pay my units, at least not just yet. Goodbye, Condottieri. Go figure, I mean, they were free to begin with. And I can have one enemy, that is Tabaristan. I don't see a reason why I sh Oh, well, he does hate my guts, so... Sure, I hate you too. That would make Karakiyunlu hate me, but hey, they already hate me. And I hate them too. And that is the story of how Ardalan came to tear the Timurid Empire apart. The horrible thing is that if the Timurid Empire get uh, Persian rebels, they're probably going to do their rebel export strat onto me, so I'm more than happy to give them military access. 
<laughs> Karaki and Lubu hate me, now revoke that guarantee. The temptation is high to fight them. They only have Tabaristan and Crimea as friends. I could invite the Ottomans by invite, uh, offering land. And the Mamluks would also like land once they pay off some of that debt. So at the very least, Karaka Yunlu, you owe me my core. I'll be taking it, granted, maybe not right now. Jake, marry your allies. Aye. There we go. See, nothing to it. Speaking of nothing to it, money's not looking so hot, but we'll figure that part out. We're paying for advisors, but we can float this boat for a wee while. And also, let's not have that paid for yet. It's these Persian separatists, they're going to rise up fairly swiftly, and I need to think how to deal with them. Alright, if, if I'm that close to my force limit, I should build up all the way to it. You're five in military, I reckon you'd make a good general. You're one in military, I reckon you'd make an alright general. Pfft. Hello, you'll have to do. That was embarrassing. Jake, offer military access to Mamluks and... Ottoman. Absolutely. Good thinking. Yeah, no kidding on the rolling one on the cursed die. It's popping up in so many ways here. So those Persians, they are almost certainly going to rise up in about a year. We'll have you on point for that. I am over my force limit, but that's fine. I'd rather be over my force limit at this point. Hell, to the point I'll even pay them. Well, no, I'll pay them once the Persians reach uh, 60%. And I think I'll move them on to Yazd. Since it's these Zoroastrians that I wish to rise up. I want the Persians to rise up per uh, exactly once. The concern is when they rise up in the Timurid Empire. I just have to hope that that doesn't go down. Tabaristan hate my guts. Tabaristan declare war on Timmy? Reconquista? And Karaki Yunlu got involved. Right, now I want to actually chill out for a bit. But... Opportunity knocks with regards to crushing Karaki Yunlu. I should unite the Ottomans and uh, Mamluks together in fighting them. Especially when the Ottomans want only one province. And the Mamluks, I don't care what they want. Jake Lower to Autonomy to establish dominance. Not possible at the moment since I can't do the whole uh, stating and territorying thing at the moment. So there's one that is not a core and I am unable to core because it's too far away. Which one would that be? Unless I am completely blind. What about you? Yazd. Ah, I'm not coring Yazd because I'm trying to convert it. And that isn't about, that is not about to change. But that just means that these two are going to be uh, ineligible. And that's okay, in a way. Jake, does very hard difficulty affect the player's dice rolls? It does not, it's just my natural born luck. I used up. So I'm sure everyone knows by now. I roll a die, a die every morning and every evening to determine my luck. And today it was just straight up one. However, on the way home I found a hundred crowns on the ground, which is uh, nay too shabby. But I think that was me using up all the luck, so I come in here today and I roll for rulers and wow. One, one, one.